Part D. Part three. Hints for homework number two. Part three. Last five questions from question number eleven through number fifteen. So let's look at question number eleven first. Which of the following has the best worst case performance? A, B, C, D. There is one in the introduction part. So here I cannot say that. In the introduction part, I said for one that particular sorting algorithm, we want to have a very good worst case performance. Uh, yeah. So here the worst case, right? So remember the worst case we want. So this worst case. Corresponds to bottleneck. Bottleneck. Yeah. yeah. So then one word. So bottleneck, right? Yeah. We want to avoid bad bottleneck. So one such one of these four sorts. Has that probably avoid that very bad bottleneck? So what more specifically? What is the bottleneck? What do you mean the bottleneck? Here, more specifically, if your worst case is n square, big theta of n square, that is the bottleneck. That is very slow. That is the bottleneck. So we want to avoid it. So we want to get better than that. So we want to get our worst case efficiency in n log n. That's the goal. Okay. Which one has this property? Yeah. So this question number eleven, number twelve. Yeah. You need to check max heap. Max heap property. You need to check the property. Okay. Yeah. So draw, draw. Yeah. So here I do not draw. So you need to draw it on your scratch paper. So draw, you know, arrange all these elements as as what as a near complete binary tree, right? Near complete binary tree. Yeah. So that is the word near complete, not exactly binary, uh, not exactly complete. So near complete binary tree, you arrange that. After that, you check, you know, max heap property. So we have that definition. You know, parent-child relationship compared values. Yeah, max heap property. So then, if you know all those things, you get the answer. Okay. Yeah. Number twelve. Number thirteen. Yeah. So this one. Yeah. In order to find a median of five element array, yeah. so remember, I have several places I talk about this five element array. In the midterm, remember in the midterm we have one question related to the find the median of five element array. So remember, given ten element array, how what is the number of minimum? Minimum number of comparisons you need to find an element that is not in the smallest two, bottom two, not in the top two. Right? For that question, we need to find a median of five elements. Then we can get the answer. Right? Yeah. Recall that. So that is one place we do this: find a median of five element array. Another in our notes, in our notes, selection problem, solve selection problem. Five element group. Remember, in that group, in that the solution, we organize our elements. Five element groups. Okay. Yeah. In each group, we need to find a median. Okay, each group, the median. Then I give you 
the number of comparisons we need to find it. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you just want to solve, if you want to, you know, do it on paper, it is pretty complicated. It is pretty complicated. Okay, yeah. You can try, but this is a hard problem. Hard problem. In this class, we have several places. I give you, you know, different pieces of information regarding this problem. Yeah. But, you know, because we have a long class period, if you need to put those pieces together, so very time consuming. Yeah. So you may not like to do that. Yeah. But here, you can find answers in different places. Yeah. So I point, I talk about those related parts. If you like, you can try to find them. Yeah. All right. Question number 14. Merge three sorted arrays ABC. Yeah. Here, Many of you probably do not feel comfortable because here we do not know the numbers A, B, C. We only need to know, uh, we, we are only given A less than B less than C. Okay? We only know this information. What is the minimum number of comparisons for the best case? Yeah. These four expressions yeah. here. To give you a hint, I like to use one of our comprehension question, this one, CQM46. But yeah, the answer of this one, incorrect, okay? Incorrect. Yeah. I will update this document. Yeah. I will update this document sometime soon tomorrow. Yeah. So here, let me tell you the correct answer. All right. Merge these, all right, three arrays for the best case. We do best case merge. First, we get the general formula. So when we merge two arrays with size M and N, okay? So in our notes, I give you the formula that is the minimum of M and N. To see that it's pretty easy, one array, the smallest element in one array beats all the elements in the other array. Yeah. But we just beat the array with smaller size. For that situation, you can get this, the minimum number of comparisons you need. Yeah. So that's the special case, the best case. Yeah. All right, so here, when we do this, think about. So here, why this is not correct answer? Because we can do better than this 19. We can do better than this 19. Okay? 19 is not the, you know, not the best way, right? So how to get 19? First, let me tell you how to get 19, okay? First, we merge these two arrays first. Okay, these two arrays first. The number of comparisons we need. How many comparison the, for the best case? The minimum of these two numbers, right? So that's six, six comparisons, and we get an array with element number of elements the size sum of these two numbers. That's fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Second, when we merge these three arrays, so thirteen and a fifteen. Minimum of the two numbers, that's 13. Then we get the array size total, 28. Yeah. So then you plus 6 and 13, you get 19. Okay. So that's the solution. But that's not the best. Here, I have a way to do better than that. So here, let me show you. Okay. To do better than that. So with this example, you can answer question 14 easily. Yeah. All right, so let me tell you. Six, the shortest array, with 13 first. Merge 6, 13, minimum of these two numbers, 
six, right? Okay, six. Then I resize some of these two numbers, 19, right? Okay, so next step merge, nine and 19. How about that? This time, the minimum number of comparisons, nine, okay? The total size 28. So then the answer, six comparisons plus nine comparisons, 15. So better than that 19 number. Okay, yeah. Here, with this example, with this example, yeah. But the correct way to solve it, correct way to solve it, then you can find the answer easily for this question number 14. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, you know, the lot of information you need for this question. Yeah. I'll give you plenty of information here. Yeah. The last question, the math, uh, this time, worst case. The previous one, best case. Worst case, yeah. Worst case, we know the formula m plus n minus one. That's the formula m plus n minus one. Okay, yeah. But here, you can do experiments. So here, how you know similar to how we solved the previous one. Do experiments, but this time use this new formula. Okay, yeah. so do experiments using yeah, this formula. Okay, yeah. You can choose concrete numbers here, although I give you a less than b less than c, you know unknown numbers but when you do experiments you can choose three different concrete numbers then you play around try you know merge these two the next two you know try several ways but each time when you merge use this formula do not use our previous formula the best case formula minimum of m and n but this time m plus m minus one so that's number of comparisons yeah the size you know the size size at m plus n that's the size size so this is the number of comparisons all right yeah after that after you get the answer you can check a b c d you can easily find the correct one all right, so that's all the 15 questions for homework assignment number two. Next, I will do the final exam part, 10 questions. All right, so let's stop here. Yeah.